Hello and welcome to Vancouver Carpenter. Today I'm going to teach you how to install a corner bead in a renovation. So it's one thing to install a corner bead on fresh drywall when everything is relatively perfect and easy to do, but it's a whole other thing when you're dealing with renovations. So let's take a look at this wall right here. So this was an old steel corner bead and it's built up about an eighth of an inch. Now what's going to happen if we decide to go and put a corner bead on here just as it is, is it will shrink too much on this side and it'll pull your corner bead over as it dries. So what we need to do is we need to mix up some quick set and pre-fill this spot. I'm actually going to do it in my bucket today. That looks awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay so it's mixed up and it's pretty thick because I don't want it slopping around and changing form as I apply it but what we're gonna do is it's pretty simple it's pretty simple I'm just gonna make sure I don't have any loose spots on here And now, I'm just going to apply like so. Bing! So what we're trying to do here is make sure that it stays flat. So you don't want to be pressing too much to one side and hollowing it out like that. You want to make sure that it goes on nice and flat. So I'm making sure I have lots of excess material on there. And then I'm going to just pull like so, making sure it's very flat on this surface. And then what I like to do is just really quickly take off the excess, like so. Just shave it off. Top from the old bucket ladder. So now I'm just going to let this set up, and once this is set up, it doesn't have to be dry, just set, then I'm going to install the corner bead. This quick set has now had a chance to set, so it's time to give it a scrape to scrape off any niblets. so that you can get your corner bead on nice and flush. I've got my corner bead cut to length with a little half inch gap. Now, if you want a more detailed corner beading video, check out some of my older videos on installing corner beads. But we're gonna install this one real quick here. So I've got some taping mud. Make sure I have a nice even spread, plenty of mud. So now that I've filled in that little gap, I can just treat this like any old corner bead. And just install it nice and quick. Making sure I have, you know, a good liberal amount of mud on there. Solid eight to help this thing stick. And my mud is quite runny, makes it easier for pressing the corner bead on and wiping the mud out. Push it up to the ceiling. Okay, come, and I give it a little wiggle as I'm installing it. Looks like I'm giving you guys a debriefed corner bead install video after all. Okay, so when I'm squishing the mud out, this is what I'm doing now. I'm kind of using my fingers, pressing on this tape on flange, and I'm pushing the mud out now, just a little bit. I'm gonna keep jiggling it to make sure it's where I want it. And now, this time. And 
And now's the time where you check it. So I've got a bit too much mud under some of this part, so I'm going to make sure to squeeze it out. But what we want to make sure is that we've got daylight. So look down there. You can see that there's a little bit of room to fill. Just a little. Great, great, a little bit full here still, or I need to pull the bead a bit. How's it down here? Not bad, not bad. There's probably just a bit too much mud under here. Now we're looking good. It's tight. That's good. So that is how you install a corner bead in a renovation when you're going from a new wall to an old wall. Anyways, thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. I hope you found this video useful. Be sure to check out my video on how to coat corner beads if you want to know what to do next. So thanks for watching and until the next video.